YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. American Pilots out back again. I'm back, but I'm not black. And I have a hairy sack. Let me get the perfume bottles out of the way. Uh, I've promised some people on the shorts that I'd be doing a review, a uh, short term review. I don't like when people wear boots for a day and then give a review on them. It's, it's absolutely stupid. And most of the guys um, that do boot reviews online that are kind of mainstream, they don't actually work in the boots. They're simply just uh, influencers that are more than likely paid to give a positive review. I'm not paid to give a positive review. Heck, the way the world's going anyway, the way the world's going anymore, I don't know. Uh, but these are the Danner Super Rainforest. Let me see here. Eight inch boot, very good looking boot. Uh, I'll be honest, if you are looking for a black boot, I, I you know, I used to, I didn't like black boots, but I've really been getting into black boots lately. I love the way they age. I love the way they look after a while. I like how uniform, not necessarily uniform, like as in a military uniform or a work uniform, but I love how uniform they look. Uh, I think it adds a certain style to it. It gives you kind of more character. Uh, these are the non-steel-toed, non-insulated uh, versions. However, uh, I do know that the Quarries, the Rainforest, and the Super Rainforest all come with a Gore-Tex liner. Um, now, these, for me, have been 100% waterproof, and I've been up to water that's, you know, on my ankles. Um, I've been, I've wore these in, in up to water that, you know, goes over it. And then of course, once the water goes over them or as drips down through your jeans, uh, they're no longer waterproof. They actually end up turning into swimming pools. Uh, but that's just how it goes. I haven't had any issues with waterproofing on these. In fact, I've never had any problems with red wings or shoot Dan, my Danners. Um, when it comes to waterproofing, and there I go, and I want to say as a disclaimer, um, this is not going to be a comparison. I will be doing a comparison between these, the Quarries, um, a pair of Keens, uh, Keens I have K-E-E-N uh, boots, and uh, these Red Wings here, I just happen to have them laying there. Um, Like I said, I just happened to have those laying there. But this is, like I said, this is a short-term review. I've had these for almost two months, maybe right at two months. Uh, I don't really think it takes a year to truly give a good boot review uh, to learn the strengths, the weaknesses, what you like, what you don't like about these boots. Um, now, I will say that Danner's website and, um, excuse me, Danner's website says that these run a little narrow. Now, I naturally have a wide foot, and I heard that, and I wanted to overcompensate um, for the fitting, and I went half a size. I went to a 10 and a half double E. I think I could have got away with a 10 double E, and I wouldn't have had the issue I'm going to speak about here in a moment. But regardless, these fit my feet fine. Uh, and then possibly if I went with half a size, um, smaller, my pinky toes would be pushing against the sides of the boots. Um, I wear a 10, 10 double E in the queries. I'm wearing a 10 and a half in these, um, or possibly if I went with a 10, I'd have the issue on both boots, but nonetheless, my left foot is a quarter of an, as a quarter to a third of an inch, what is that, three eighths? Uh, you know, it's three eighths of an inch smaller than my right foot in length. Um, so as a result, I did have a little bit of a blister form on the top of my uh, left big toe where the 
I guess the knuckle you would call it on my toe. Um, but nonetheless, I, I got around that at first. I thought, man, well, I need, I need, I don't need to wear these boots as tight. So I loosened them up and it got worse. So actually what I done is I just tied them as tight as I could get them and it solved the issue. And you know, that's how I wear them. I naturally tie my boots and my shoes tighter. I like the secure fit. Um, and I haven't had an issue since then. Now these do come with the Vibram, uh, sole a 90 degree angle um your classic work boot style right here um a little bit of grass this right here. um as you can see two months basically zero wear just a little bit of a break in wear non-steel toed um very good boots very good they don't have much of a break in at all um, in my experience no smell they give a nice uh, insole nice foot nice little foot uh, you can already see my it's already molding to my foot and in the inside of the boot it's already molding it's already pretty much molded to my foot has a nice arch in it. That's what I like about uh, Danners. They have a pretty moderate arch. I have a high arch in my foot. Um, and I don't like um, a lot of the logger boots, like the Red Wing logger, if I have had experience with it, and the Chippewa logger. Um, you know, they say logger boots are supposed to be good for high arches, but really all it does is just um, force a lot of the weight on, a lot of the weight to the ball of my foot, so it's really uncomfortable. Um, but these have a nice arch um that are not that isn't necessarily drastic um but it it doesn't hurt my feet at the end of the day like with some other brands um, these do have, come with a fiberglass shank um i feel like the fiberglass shank is very important especially when i'm standing on a rail car um and my foot is on this uh, is on a the, is on a is on a grab iron or on a steel step um I'm supposed to lock it in here and it sits right here and luckily with these thick vibram um, soles as well as the midsole and stuff it really benefits your foot you're not gonna the the inside of your foot is not gonna um, feel the pain it's not gonna feel the fatigue if you're riding a long shove uh, these are very good boots if um, you're walking on uneven surfaces possibly to the you know this isn't necessarily a stiff leather but it's you know it's very structured leather i should it's very structured i should say gives you uh, plenty of confidence when you're walking you don't feel like the ground you're going to be walking on is going to fall out from under you um laces are nice i you know i'm kind of a i don't know a stickler when it comes to laces i think that danner could as much as they charge for this boot they could probably benefit from having a stronger um less flexible type nylon uh boot lace you know there's leather boot leather boot laces but they stretch and then over time they break so you know you're just going to be constantly replacing them i think these do fine but you know if you're paying these i should get this out of the way these retail for basically 450 dollars i did not pay 450 dollars for this boot and at $450, you could go with the Franks Patriot, which is actually $370, I think. Um, and instead of a rubber insole like you get here, you can get a leather insole that forms to your foot. This is a very, this basically has two midsoles. It goes from one that is quite cushiony um, to one that is medium hardness and then you go to one the outsole which is hard you know and i'm about 99 yeah it's rubber um and even though it does form to your foot over time leather is going to form to your foot faster um but like i said this it's already molded my foot but it just it just comes down to the the, the resoling process really which i'm not the biggest uh, i'm not the most knowledgeable person on that just from what i've read just from what i've picked up from other videos um very stiff boot very 
you know, you're not going to. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pushing in on this and it's hard for me to feel in there. So very good structure boot. Um, I have not had, like I said, the only issue I've had is for my little, uh, my, the, basically the knuckle on my big toe, um, has rub was rubbed, um, had a blister on it. And that's just because of my foot. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a three eighths of an inch. My left foot is three eighths of an inch shorter. Um, than my right foot you can see the wear on these boots um, i've oiled them a couple of times i've cleaned them a couple of times and you know minimal wear you know some scratches here and there but that's 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 to be expected um when you're working with these boots and it's always very challenging to me to do a boot review on a boot that you really like because that's all you can really say is that you like them and they're a good boot. And that's what I can say about this boot. It's, it's likable and it's a good boot. Um, it's expensive, but you can usually pick them up on sale at bakersboots.com. And then Red Wing, or not Red Wing, Danner, sorry. Danner usually runs a sale um, three or four times a year on these. And you can get them for like a hundred bucks off. So 300, I think I bought these for like $345 which is still a lot for a boot but when you put it into perspective you know you're only paying 45 dollars more for this than the query uh, from danner as well and then you're paying right about the same price um there's a red wing red wing super soul 2.0 um that's waterproof you know which i you know i guess 345 would be for the one that's insulated waterproof and um, a steel toe or um, composite toe, it's elastic toe. But these are a great boot. I would recommend them. Um, I don't want to, you know, continue to drag this video out, but then at the same time, I don't want to put too much in here because um, this is still technically a short term review, just two months. So um, I'll probably do a comparison between these, the Danner Aquaries and the Red Wing uh, Dyna Forces and the Keens. Uh, just different you know boots i would recommend for people to uh, that work for the railroad to wear and then i also have a pair of jk ot pros on the way and a pair of frank's um patriots on the way as well so i'll be doing reviews on those but hope everyone has a great day